I'm Onyx. I'm from Norfolk Senior High. Speak the truth! And I would like to issue a trigger warning for depression and suicidal thoughts. This is my poem, What I Would Have Written. When I was little, I always smiled. A couple missing teeth, Velcro shoes, and bangs. A college-level book in hand, excited for school. I believed I could make a difference in the world. I wanted to be everything and anything, including, but not limited to, a ninja. <laughs> but I grew up earlier than I should. In eighth grade, I listened to Antidote by Faith Marie, wrote sad poems. I realized I wasn't afraid of death anymore. I didn't want to get old, aching bones, and sitting lonely in a nursing home. Now I write poetry that requires trigger warnings. My depression playlist is two hours long. I take eight different meds. I've sunk so low, grades from hundreds to sixties. I keep thinking of my younger self. I used to wake up with a smile filled with laughter and joy. I wanted to live, to grow old with family and friends, to provide for myself. I wanted to be like my grandma and have my own flower garden to show my grandchildren. Now I can't see myself past 30. I think that little me would be disappointed. I've wasted our potential classes for sleeping now. I'm not the smart kid anymore. I haven't read a book since I gave up on the Illuminate trilogy. Who knows how long ago getting good grades is impossible. So I don't try. Shower once a week, brush my teeth once a day, eat ramen, pizza rolls, and ice cream. No wonder I have high cholesterol, even at 17. This is my normal. I'm comfortable. But I want hope. I want to enjoy life again, to be okay with myself. Eighth grade me had no idea how bad it would get. Dreaming about being an author, they wrote themselves in the faraway future. They didn't know that they weren't experiencing the worst. I hate this constant up and down. I miss the middle ground when I didn't feel. I want to flatline, but I can't purposely hurt the people I love, even if I won't be here to see it. It's my only reason left. Sometimes I wish everyone I love would leave so I wouldn't have that reason either. And I'm so sorry for feeling this way. I'm sorry, mom and dad. I'm sorry to my sister and my girlfriend. I'm sorry to my younger self and our dreams. I'm just so tired. I read this to my therapist. She called my parents. Since then, I've been fighting and clawing my way back up. I want to wake up next to my girlfriend in the morning. I want to be a tattoo artist, gardener, author, ninja with bangs and a smile. I want to want to live. I'm writing the future I want to live.